we're going to be making a stop motion blindfolded. This idea was inspired by Shrimpy Pasta. You should definitely go check out her channel and make sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. So the first thing I needed was my blindfold, which was actually just a scarf folded up. So I originally just started off, you know, tapping the camera and moving the doll. But that actually did not work out very well. And so I ended up setting the camera on a timer for five seconds, which also was a little bit more difficult. Well, actually less difficult because you didn't have to worry about finding the camera button, but you did have to worry about when the picture was going to be taken. I didn't realize how blurry the image was because I could not see. And it was a little bit more hard to try and find the doll, which was kind of surprising. So I smoothed the doll. Um, it was a little bit difficult just for the fact, you know, you didn't know if your hand was going to get in it, which actually constantly my hand was in most of the photos just because, you know, the camera would be taking a picture and I wouldn't be knowing and it didn't work out very well. But <laughs> I think this challenge was really creative and if you want to do it, you're totally welcome to. So yeah. And these photos, um, a lot of them, I had a little bit of trouble actually finding them. I mean, really, it's just reaching your arm out. But when you can't see, it's like, oh, where is she? And, um, you may have noticed that the doll actually, um, kept, like, moving over, which normally when I'm filming a stop motion, they don't because I know exactly where they are. And if you're wondering what that bright glare is, well, that's my television in the background because I was too lazy to actually get my green screen out and film blindfolded. But that would actually be a very good idea if you wanted to film a video, you know, like, edit a video blindfolded. Oh, that'd be... That should be the next video we do. So I'm sorry for rambling on so much, but this part of the video is almost done and I didn't want it really to delete any of it because it would look like a huge jump. But I feel as though that this was pretty good. And so now the next part of my challenge was to change the frames per second. So on Stop Motion Studio Pro, the thing is already set, the frames per second is already set to five frames per second, which is not the fastest frames per second. So, I decided I'd move it up to my normal 15. However, because I was um, incorrectly counting, it did not go so well. I think it ended up at 21 frames per second. I'm not exactly sure. So now, without ado, here's the finishing project.